Nice one, cheers boys. See you later. Yeah, see you later on. See you soon, cheers. Thanks. You're welcome. Hello, good morning guys, good morning. Welcome to another vlog, another glorious, actually no it's not is it? I was gonna say another glorious day in the UK. We are having a little bit of a heat wave right now. We've had 24 degrees today. 28 degrees, 30 degrees in the UK, which is unheard of. You can't drink it. Is he trying to drink your coffee? Yeah, trying to drink the coffee. You can do cheers though. Do cheers. He's eyeing it up. He's like look, looking it up and down, like planning his next move. <laughs> but yes, if you saw the last video, Lucy and I had a very, very exciting announcement oh, that we are leaving the UK coffee. again can you smell it? for some long-term travel, back to travel every day, full-time travel. Did you just say to me? I said you look like a zookeeper. I look like a zookeeper. Where yes. are we? At a zoo. And why are you dressed like a safari well, tour guide? Well, I'm trying to fit in. Apparently Lucy said I look like a zookeeper today. I mean, I get where she's coming from. I do get where she's coming from. Welcome to a new vlog. We have arrived at our destination for the day. We're making the most of England, shall we say, whilst we're still here for the time being. Do you want to hand with that? Oh, don't worry. Just you just need someone <laughs> big and strong to help you out with this. Oh, Five kilograms. Oh yeah, don't worry, that's why I'm here. That is why I'm here. Love these new one hand. I don't think like our parents' generation had this convenience with parenting. So we have come to Drew Silla's today. Earlier on in the year, they very kindly um, gave Lucy and I a annual pass so we could bring Coda here. It's a place where Lucy and I used to come as kids as well with our own parents. So it's very nostalgic. Vlogging's hard, yeah, because you have to do everything with one hand. But the cool thing is that they also have electric vehicle parking so we can charge the car whilst we're inside and when we get back we'll have a full electric charge and we can drive home on electric power which is cool. The other cool thing is the summer holidays have finished. Yes. So there's not as many people here weekday day out. Are you excited? So just got me out of it. I think people are gonna start thinking you work here and like asking for where the toilets Honestly. are. Excuse me, do you know where the um <laughs> do you know where the penguins are? <laughs> but the funny thing is we've been here so often I do know where the penguins are. Should we go this way? Yeah. This way mate! Let's go! Let's go! What's that? Owl! Owl, yeah! Got our membership. They're a similar size actually. Can you see the big monkey? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> more interested in a step. Yeah, he loves it here so Amazing. much. It's so nice. The last time we were here, this was packed. It gets super busy. It's so, so popular in our area. Summer holidays, unbelievably busy. Oh, that's closed at the moment. Why don't we go on the car? Should we go on the car? Let's go on the car. Look, go on the big car. Four. Four. Yes, boy. Go on, boy. Five. Five. Four. One more. You got one more in you. You got one more. Six. Yeah. Nice. It's so funny. This is like, it's a nice part of the zoo, but it's just like a sort of seating area with some animals on the walls and drums and music playing. But I swear it's his favourite part of the whole place because he just, he's in the toilet.
put a clip in here. Just climb that pole thing. I haven't been able to do that for a long time, since I was a kid. And it kind of killed me, but I did it, so I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> All that gym's been paying off and I can now lift myself up, so that's good. <laughs> George didn't do it though, did you? Oh, well, no, I was filming, obviously. I had yeah. to. The zookeeper. Obviously, you had to. Um, keep an eye on the animals. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot to do when you're a zookeeper. <laughs> it takes a lot to keep this place going. Jumping on this ride here, which he loves. If you've seen the vlogs recently, you may have seen us come here a couple of times. But I'm doing the dad thing and looking after all the bags, the buggy, the camera, of course. Can't just leave this camera lying around. Yeah, I want to quickly thank you all for all the nice comments on the last video because that was a, a big video for us to upload, announcing that we are going back traveling like we still can't quite get our heads around it it's the biggest kind of decision that we've made since 2018 and obviously we now have coda as well if you missed it go back and watch that video because we're kind of talking about our plans announcing project roy rest of the year um but it's kind of turning to rest of the year and beyond so yes very very excited any questions you have around the trip please let us know we're also going to do a little Q&A on our Juicy Vlog Instagram account very soon. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment and we'll try and get back to them. So we've been here for a couple of hours now. Very hot. I meant to say, on the vlogs, if you remember, you used to always do a weather check. Weather in the UK, oh, I said at the start of the video, actually. Weather has been unbelievable. Like, tropical weather. We thought we were gonna get some heat when we first start going away. We got it in the UK. Sorry I'm in the vlog today, I'm just in one of my favourite places, so I get a bit distracted. <sighs> it's a playground for us as well. It is a playground for us. I don't know if any other parents do this, but we just have as much well, fun as Koda does. Um, yeah, what was no. talking about? But no, we are so excited for this trip, honestly. It's amazing the thought that it's happening so, so soon and packing has started. We've cleared out one of the rails in our wardrobe room and that's like designated packing now. So anything we get that's for the trip, we hang there. Um, there's still so much to do, there's still so much to book, flights, hotels, but a lot is coming together. The list is getting smaller. Uh, yeah. Koda had his next Hep A jab yesterday, so now he's like fully vaccinated up till he's 18, which is amazing. Jumping out. Oh no, for life actually, sorry. Which means he's fully vaccinated for life for some of these yeah. things, which is amazing. Um, and I feel like it'll be cool for him if he decides to, I don't know, go backpacking in Thailand when he turns 18. And we're like, don't worry about it, we got you vaccinated, you're all good. Because I know we had to do that for us. Um, I don't think it's funny, he's just like not a normal kid, but he's got all these crazy adventures coming up, but super exciting. But obviously we are spending a lot of time with family right now because there's going to be a lot of goodbyes, a lot of grandparents that are going to miss Koda a lot. I don't think they miss us that much, they're kind of used to us not being here that much, but I think Koda changes so much so quickly and learns so many new things and they're going to miss quite a lot of that I suppose. Um, so they, we're going to be sending them videos all the time, FaceTiming all the time and he just loves his family and it's amazing like seeing the connections he's building with different people. Like each family member's got like a little thing with him and something that, I don't know, he calls them or they call him or a little game they play together and it's just so sweet. So that is obviously the hard part of his trip for us, having that separate for so long again but obviously the internet exists we can keep in touch and the reunion will be really special when it happens so it's like mixed emotions super excited because it's like the best thing ever for all of us but we will miss family and Code will miss family and family will miss us planning is well underway if you're wondering what that noise is this is Koda's favorite thing here it's like a little banana thing that you pull and it does like banana noises banana noises i meant to say monkey noises hilarious never heard a banana make a noise banana noises i'm very tired Koda wake up at 5 a.m it's all good it's all good we're pulling through but this heat is definitely getting us ready because it's like 30 degrees right now in england which is unheard of and it's definitely preparing us for what's to come although i do feel like other countries elsewhere do it better than we do they have air conditioning and they're prepared for this we in england are not prepared for hot weather and we moan when it's cold and then we moan when it's too hot so planning's well underway things are happening soon goodbyes are going to start happening soon and we're excited to get back to daily vlogging for you guys as well because it's what we love to do it's in our blood it's our nature it's our like most natural habitat daily vlogging in another country is just george and lucy to a t and coda now as well <laughs> um but yeah Super exciting, loads to come. We're starting to read all your comments of you guys guessing where we're going, which is exciting. Uh, and a few people have got some good guesses in. A few people are right, a few people are wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna stop vlogging in a kid's play area now and enjoy the rest of our day. And then we're gonna head back, get Coda a nice nap in the car. And I think George and I are actually going for dinner tonight and then to a birthday party of a friend of ours. So that'll be fun. So we've just got home and two random dudes were in our garden cutting down our trees. Our next door neighbors have arranged it. And it's quite good because it's their tree and it was overhanging for ages. And there's this guy's currently setting up this like big contraption in the garden. It's an Eiffel Tower. In our garden. They've put the Eiffel Tower in our garden. Classic, it's massive. Um, and yeah, they're gonna chop some trees down. 
which could be a good thing, might make it open up the space, or it could mean that we have no more privacy, but I mean, we'll see how much they cut off. But yeah, we're home now. Oh, the potatoes are boiling over, just making some late lunch. And George and I are currently deciding on the plan for this evening, because we're going to a friend's birthday party for a couple of drinks at a bar, but we were wondering maybe if we go earlier, maybe we can have some dinner together. So once Cody is asleep, we've got some babysitters coming around. And yeah, we might try and make that work, because that would be nice. Why are your right move? Are we moving house again? I'm looking for our next house. Brilliant. What? Dinner times in the Warrington household. That's uh, that's the name of the game. That is the current situation. So, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Can I have, can I have your attention? It's the end of the vlog. We just got to sign off. Okay. That's all we've got to do. Then we're, we're done for the week. Done for the weekend. We can clock off. Get the beers yeah. out. Yeah? You ready? Okay, guys. So, that is going to end off today's video because Lucy and I... My dad has just been here. We've been like chatting about the trip. He's been spending some time with Coda. It's going to be very sad. It's going to be emotional when we... I... Shall I say this on camera or not? Shall I? Is it like a relatable thing or is it like I don't want to say this about myself on camera? I don't know what you're about to say. I used to like... I used to get tearful when we used to leave the UK. Yeah, that you really I, did. I used, to, I, I used to cry my eyes out every time I left the UK. <laughs> we were young. We were like leaving our home. We li still lived with our parents way back then and it was like... Ow this big emotional thing where we'd go off for like two years. I don't know. I'm 30 now, guys, so I'm gonna tr I'm try and not cry when we leave this time, when we go to the airport and have to say goodbye to everyone and oh, jump on that plane, just the two of us. Well, just the three of us. So yeah, as Lucy said, we are heading out this evening. My parents are coming back here. My dad's just been here. Just realized I've left Coda's bath running. One second, gonna turn that off. without getting the camera wet. That is the one room in the house we have not really showed you ever because it is like going back in time. It's the one room of the house we haven't yet finished with this whole renovation. So we don't really vlog in there. But when we get a nice new spanky bathroom. Spanky? Is that the word? Brand spanking new. Brand spanky bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I just sat on one of Coda's toys. Oh, I've just sat on that. Not nice. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Lucy and I are out this evening in about an hour, which right now sounds pretty exhausting. And I'm really but sick. It's one of our friends' birthdays. We're gonna go meet them. We're having some dinner out beforehand, so we're gonna sign off this vlog because we need to start getting ready for that. Thanks so much for joining us again. I've had a really nice Friday. It's been an awesome Friday. Really, really fun. Do you agree? Mm. Cool. That's good. As long as we're on the same page. Lucy and I are always on the same page. I don't know what it is about us, but we always are. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you're excited for this upcoming trip, as I said, get some questions because we're gonna do a Q and A very, very soon, probably on the Juicy Vlog Instagram account. Make sure you're following there. Next couple of videos, we're off. We're saying goodbye, we're leaving. And I have an announcement. Oh. We have a mini trip before our big trip, including all of George's family. Oh, we do, we do. That is almost like a little farewell shindig in a way, isn't it? We're gonna vlog that as well. So yeah, there's gonna be like a little mini I guess like a little warm up to the Juicy Vlog World Tour. A little um, family UK vacation thingy. We're gonna, we're gonna vlog that. But anyway, you'll see that next few videos. Then we're gonna be leaving. Yeah, wow. Life is constantly moving when you're a Juicy Vlogger. Oh. Or, you don't like that? No. All right, we're not gonna use the term Juicy Vlogger. When you're vlogger. a Juicy Vlogger, that's horrendous. Okay, fine. When you're George and Lucy and Coda. All right, what a great week. Thanks so much for watching the vlog. If you missed that last video, big announcement, talking about all the stuff we've been talking about today in more detail, go and watch that. If not, just choose one of these other videos. Which side of the screen is it gonna be on? Yeah, probably down here, there's loads of videos, loads of cool channels, loads of people uploading some cool stuff. So go ahead, go and watch whatever you want. We'll see you in another juice vlog very, very soon. See you later, guys.